It runs through some of Sydney's ritziest suburbs on the northern beaches and has become a nightmare for commuters. The bus run to Palm Beach is being terrorised by troublemakers and today John Hill tracked down and tackled one of the chief hellraisers who blames the drivers. This Palm Beach to Sydney service has become State Transit's most notorious bus route, plagued by drunken youths who charge aboard in groups of up to 15 and cause havoc on Thursday, Friday and Saturday nights. We've got drivers out there being spat on, assaulted, male and female. Um, they've been physically and threatened. The union says the gangs continue to take over buses despite a two-year-long police operation which has failed to control them. I've seen women being groped, I've seen countless amounts of youth drinking, graffiti, fights, bus drivers being spat on and assaulted, it's just disgusting. This 17-year-old who didn't want to be identified for good reason says drivers are targeted because they failed to stop. Bus drivers got to be more polite. We're polite to them. Obviously, we wouldn't do nothing for no reason. But sometimes they don't even pull over. They just give us all the finger. Drivers say the situation is getting out of control. They say they've been threatened here at the Mona Vale bus depot by hoodlums who have also thrown rocks at their cars. We had a driver who, when he was shopping in his own time, in bus uniform, was approached by these youths and an altercation occurred. That driver ended up with a black eye. He was bleeding from the head. I don't know. He tried to get us charged or something when he smacked my mate first. The opposition says public safety is at risk. The abuse and the assaults that we're seeing mean the Police Transport Command should be throwing everything at this problem. The union says drivers fear night shifts on weekends, but it's reluctant to shut down bus services after dark. John Hill, 10 Eyewitness News.